Okay. So. So, Aroma Lake. Say Aroma Lake? Aroma Lake. So it's gonna smell like poop? Probably. Or just an aroma? Like anything? It's yeah. gonna sell like cinnamon. Oh, nice. Cinnamon. And poop. You huh. know, we went to Michael's today and it smelled like cinnamon and liar. And poop? Yeah. No. Only poop. <laughs> <laughs> I have this when I shat everywhere. Am I right, guys? <laughs> yeah, dude. Shit yeah, man, Michaels. Yeah. It's called do having a shitty Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. Oh. Shimon. <laughs> oh. Spirits of the lake, keep thy pledge to the emperors of Bruno. Of Bruno. Bruno. De Gustavus Nanus de Ah, what they? Has anyone ever just tried just like... I'm not letting you talk to me like that. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm going to bring Matt here, and you're going to say that again, and he's going to challenge you to a fun up. <laughs> and it'll be the most terrifying time of win. your life. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. That great. Yeah. <laughs> and we went to a convention where they had a panel about puns and it was, it was yeah, actually it's, like, it's a buddy of mine does he's obsessed with puns S see that's dopey yeah he looks different now still looks like dopey he still does kind yeah of. oh shit what are those survive this trial to receive our yeah guns. they look like chrono trigger robos yeah they do they do look like toriyama inspired like single eyed oh the way she said, I ain't going down without a fight, reminds me of this time when this guy randomly came up to me when I was in high school. He was like a kind of a thuggish kid and goes, I ain't going down without a fight. And then I was like, what? No, no dude. I'm, no. You know what I love about moments and like that? And then he said, I'm all whatever. And we're like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, I'm white as hell. <laughs> you, know, you know what? You know what I love about moments like that is it always feels like that's the end of the movie for that guy. <laughs> and you just like happen to have been absent the entire film. Yeah. He just like shows up. I'm on whatever, and he's like, that was like something you said to him in his like dark past, yeah. or you reminded him of some guy yeah. you knew, and he's just like, this is, this is the thing he has to do to get over that last edge for his character like arc. So, and yeah. you're just like, who the fuck are you? Like, I would love like moments like that, like where, like in Monsters Inc. when you don't know if he, if they found the little girl. Like he opens the door and he's like, is that you? Like whatever her name was Boo or whatever that. Yeah, was. it was Boo. He was like, is that you, Boo? And then he's and then it's just like some like fucking like like really thug ladies just like fucking like, I your Boo. What the hell is you, nigga? And it's like, yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> And like the like the movie's like completely different because he <laughs> fucked up. They just ended it on a nice, ended it where it needed to end. But after that, everything kind of, everything kind of got oh man, <laughs> everything flew apart. Yep. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, this battle is like battle condition, death of Ash or Lena. And can Lena bit, do damage? Uh, Lena is Clive. Oh. She does what she wants. That's... She's really bad. This is gonna be bad. She's Barker's? Yep. Jer she's Jericho. She's Jericho. This is kind of a bad move. Because I Are need... You sure? Well, not entirely, I guess. Because, like, she's not going to be involved for much of the fight if she stays back now, but... Like, the entire fight is... Like on rails. Yeah. So like, it was really bizarre for a tactics game to make the fight on rails and also to make it like giving you a character that'll do whatever they want seems like it's a recipe for disaster. Yep. Especially like, one that can't be killed. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. But she, she can't. Oh yeah, she yeah she yeah. You mean like she can't die or else it's a lose. Yeah. Yeah yeah. I was just like I thought that she was invincible and I was like <laughs> oh that's a moot point. Never mind. This is perfect. No no. Get the wizards kind in there. Get the wizard started, huh? 
Oh man, let's get the, get the wizard started here. within the here. In here. Within these, this vicinity. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, those these guys are archers, so they're like boom, boom. They're, they're more like Lada. <laughs> <laughs> That's because they're archers. Yeah, no, I, I so got that's it. That was a smart joke. No, I... I know, I know. I, I, just, I agree. I, I know. I just, are we not doing phrasing anymore? I tried <laughs> doing an archer joke earlier. And it worked. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. You said the silent killer, and we all like, nah. <laughs> You're just like, no! You guys didn't <laughs> laugh hard enough. <laughs> That's like getting up and doing stand up and then like like the audience is like ha 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 and then Damn he, it! Just, he just like turns around FUCK <laughs> That guy over there! You didn't fucking laugh with your heart! You laughed cause that guy was laughing! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Yeah, these guys are strong. It's like, all you ladies who are brought here by their boyfriends and aren't actually laughing, you're just laughing because your your boyfriend's having a good time? Fuck you. You should give me real laughs. <laughs> I don't want your pity fucking... <laughs> like, that'd be the best. Like, <laughs> meeting to spend his entire fucking set just doing that. <laughs> just being mad. At the audience for not having, not giving him real laughs. <laughs> like, it's this insane person who's holding an entire audience hostage. <laughs> with his own self-esteem. Uh. <laughs> and then at that point you just start going, Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Make laughing. him regret the day he was like, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> you guys laugh for real, goddammit. Some people just shouldn't do stand-up. A lot of people shouldn't. It's not a really great place to end up, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra hearing. Just to get Like, drug. some people think they're really fucking funny, but they're really not funny. Yeah, yeah. could Like Pat from Basement Quality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real talk. Yeah. yeah. You're just like, you guys have to agree so much. You, 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 you could've got Dolan there, too. Uh, he was yeah. absolutely within Shit. range. Fuck. Well, okay. Well, I still got, uh, Sarah. You're... It's okay. If That's you... so confusing! <laughs> if you, like... Zoom out the image enough when you upload this, everyone else will know what it looks like for us. And they'll be like, whoa, I didn't see that guy either. <laughs> <laughs> and then balance will be achieved. You know what's a cool thing about achieving balance? Hey, Taha, have you ever thought about doing stand up? I actually have for real a few times, but like, I'm just too goddamn lazy. Like, that's like, honestly, it just comes down to it's like, I have to sit there and like come up with like an entire set of jokes, and they have to be jokes that won't make people cry, they'll just make people laugh. Because it's like, because you gotta take things from your real life and make them funny. So, like, a lot of times when I do write, sit down and write jokes, like, if I did do stand up, it always like, I always go, man, this makes me so bummed out. And I was like, no one's gonna laugh at this shit. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. It's like, don't. Don't fucking do it. Because I'm not going for gasps. <laughs> I think I can kill at least the Guardian here. Kill at least the Guardians. I am Groot. I still think it's insane that Vin Diesel stayed in the studio and said I am Groot for every release of the movie in every language. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. He did. Because one line, like, 80 times. Like, so he just had to come in once a day and do a language. And it took, like, to say I am Groot, like, like, maybe 15 times and go home. So I Groot. No, seriously. Like, he did. Yep. Like... Like, for every language, he even added some accent and stuff to it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I was like... I mean, why not, though? Because your entire purpose in the movie is to say one word. Yeah. You might as well yeah. just stick say it off my Hawk Knight for a bit. Because those archers will fuck me up. Yeah. They'll fuck you up proper, mate. A bloody, uh... 
I bloody hate uh, 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 wankers uh, like you. You, you bloody horse. You, hey, you, hey, you, hey, you, hey, you, hey, you, now. You, you bloody sword and, uh, 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 tosser. Uh, I'm done. Okay, Wait, dude, are you, you don't, calling you don't me a to. bloody sorting tosser? Oh, I just called you a bloody sorting tosser, mate. I'm gonna bloody sword your toss right into my butthole, then. <laughs> <laughs> and right off. Yeah, oh, dude. No. Do what you gotta do. It is your thing. Do what you have to do. Do your thing. It's, it's your thing. thing. Just, uh, I like use, how they even show you those guys. You use caution when approaching them thugs. Yeah. Come on, Grog. You're the Highlander. There can be only one. Fuck! Every time I hear that guy's name, I think of that song that Pat sings once in a while. <laughs> which which yeah. one? Because <laughs> he's like a jukebox. Like, yeah. Like, just a one word will set him something, off. Something, something, me grog or something. It's all for me grog, me jolly jolly grog. It's all for me beer and tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't clap with feeling! <laughs> that was a golf clap! No, no, you do a real applause. You have better audience. I'm, I'm clapping so hard it hurts. <laughs> oh, so hard it hurts. Just so hard it, it hurts. It literally hurts my palms. I, I just, I just like, <laughs> like, like that'd be the only way I do stand up. Is like I'd have to go into because I've done it before. I'd go into a room and there was a mic and I just was talking the mic the whole time and people were just showing up and sitting down. It was weird, but like, like just go into an empty like theater hall and just start just doing stand up in it, and just see how many people show up. Because <laughs> you know you're good if you can attract a crowd. Like getting people to pay, like pay and commit is one thing, but people just walking by and going, "Hey, I'm gonna listen to this." So just it's fucking hard. Daigo Mahara and Grog. There's some people that just try way too hard. Yeah, like everyone like, downtown is trying to sell anything to anyone. Just like, like where we live, like, which is, you know, it's not unlike any other big city, where it's just be people just literally get on a soapbox and just start yelling at you, just like, hey, join this group. It's like, why? Because I'm not going to stop yelling until you join it. <laughs> and the more things they yell at you, the crazier they sound. It's like, okay. Going to get my healer. I like what you had to say there, but uh, did you know that uh, Talos the Unerring is going to smite you? <laughs> I mean, it's true. That's how I respond to anyone who tries to, like, give me, like, the good news, so to speak, or anything. Anything that, like, with anyone soliciting me for anything, I usually just start, I just go into, like, Skyrim Talos, like, fucking, uh, priest guy, and just start, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, and just start yelling. He's like, you think you can defeat Talos? Talos is unassailable, and I'll just like go on and on and on and yell like louder than so them. So you sound crazier than them. Oh yeah, that, I actually that actually happened to me once. They gave me a pamphlet, and I drew on the pamphlet like a picture of like the Talos guy, and it's like <laughs> shaded in like the word Talos the unassailable on it, and I was just hand handing those back out to people near where he was yelling on the same street corner. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the bus, and this guy was ruining everyone's time. Like, I had my headphones on, and he decided to come up to me and start telling me how my life is full of sin, and I was like, Sir, I respect... I seriously said to him, I respect what you're trying to say there and everything, but, you know, I'm not interested. He wouldn't leave me alone. So when I, when, like, when he finally, like, I went and said, Yeah, whatever, I'll, I'll go look into it. Just give me the information. And he gave me, like, two pamphlets. So I was like, Okay, he actually gave me two. So what I'm gonna do now is draw on these and be a dick. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because well, you tried to be nice. I tried really hard though. Like, it wasn't like a hard thing to be nice. Really it was just like, that. why did he do that? Pushy. I hate pushy people. Oh, that does nothing. Though. Yeah. I, what was he trying to push on you? Well, like, I don't want to like go and like trash talk anyone's like thing. 
because like I'm not like against anyone's like like religions or anything. Well, I'm not. But either. like, but like, I just like I'm not on the show. I don't want to do that. Yeah. But like, I just wanted to like I just I was just saying like, it's one of those people that like gets in your face and won't stop telling you about like how you have to do this thing and yeah. you're just like, well, I'm fine with who I am. Please leave me alone. And they won't. So, yeah. <laughs> so I decided to be a dick about I, it. I do remember when I got like accosted by uh, the. Uh, uh, Mormons while I was running and I never felt more vulnerable in my life. Not great. Yeah. The, oh uh, no, more fucking thing. Shit. The other weekend, Clint's gonna get like, wrecked. Some Jehovah's Witnesses came to my door and I was like, house. and they were like, have you been saved? And I'm like, yeah, man, right on. I'll and totally it's... come to your picnic. <laughs> and then they left. Can I salamander from here? Yeah, you can probably get everyone. Yeah, you can. Aw, uh, yeah. All right, it's, it's now the second wave, and it's time for salamander. It's time for dope on the water. <laughs> dope on the water. Boom. Dee, dee, dee. Out of the water. <laughs> Surf on the water. <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. bloop. Those are the sounds of bubbles you see. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> we got that. Thanks. <laughs> no, I need to explain it for, for reasons. For <laughs> reasons. Yeah, you'll get them, get them, get them, hit them, hit them, hit them. Anti up. Uh, yep, that cool. Anti This is the coolest spell in the game. Yeah. Well, it's the, like, ultimate magic. Unless there's, like, some crazy other magic. Well, the other spells, like, I, I'll be honest, like, I'm not a huge fan of their effects for a lot of them. Like, I do think that Sal Salamander and, like, um, the Holy Lightning or whatever look pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, Phase Shift isn't doing it for you? No, Phase Shift, like, <laughs> yeah, like, hurting my fucking eyes is great. Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, looking at the screen, like, the map do that whenever you do Phase Shift kind of hurts. <laughs> like... But yeah, like, that was probably the coolest spell. <laughs> yeah, what is that sound he's making? Like, is he a monster, actually, or...? No, he's actually just, like, a like a fat British man in a suit. Oh! He's one of the... Kingsmen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that movie was pretty great. Did you know about it? I kind of want to see it. I have it's, no it's, idea no, what it's super, about. it's super great. Kingsmen? It's, it's a movie... That came out recently about it's like a send up to old spy movies, but it's also like its own thing, and it's fucking great. There's a scene in there I'm not even gonna tell you about if you ever like go see it, cause like see, being surprised by it happening is just fucking amazing. Like it has to do with explosions, and it's probably the prettiest explosion I've ever seen in my life. Cool. And it's oh, I wish I could just tell you <laughs> what, what blows up because it's awesome. Nice. And I still have to see, um, Big Hero 6. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> I it's, believe it. There, there are so many Big Hero 6 cosplayers now. Oh, it's, it's, I think the, I think that movie, it's, it's a good movie, but I think really the style of that movie sells it a lot more than its story, because the story is, is okay. I can agree with that. It's not like anything groundbreaking it's not anything that's like to really like those guys to. need to go it's really just a just like center archers, solid story nothing nothing too bad to say about it nothing too great to say about it alright come on Mark. it's it's like watching how to train your dragon but robots instead so what you're saying? Except your for just kidding. Actually, no, it's not like that at all. Actually, it's actually good. I was I was thinking about it. I was like, no, actually, I think that's not even a correct out analogy to that because it's not really like that at all. I've I've been seeing a lot of comparisons between the two on the internet. You know why? Because there's a thing that happens with every like generation, and it's not like generation of kids. It's just generation like of like art. It just seems to happen. Is especially with like TV and movies, is that people will. There'll be two things 
in a genre that are, like, good or passable. And then those two things will always be compared no matter how different they are. Because, like, Big Hero 6 and How to Train Your Dragon are probably two of the, like, one of, like, the best, like, 3D things that have come out recently. And go that's good. But they're not really that comparable. The only thing that's really comparable is that, like, both characters have, like, a pet. Like, quote-unquote. That that's it. Yeah, that's all. That's Nothing all. else is really comparable. <laughs> that's what I've been seeing. The internet and stuff. Cause like How to Train Your Dragon's like side cast, like their side cast of characters actually has a lot more development, I'd say, than the Hero Six so is. Where like... do you think well obviously this spot, but where do you think the entrance like, to this so spot is gonna be? Because I think like over here. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Also it's cause it's easy sometimes to do. Easier is a convention we can... have around. Oh yeah, actually I that's can't actually here. A, a, a pretty unknown Midwestern I know. Convention, but like for but, people who don't aren't initiated, yeah, that, but, yeah, but, yeah. But that's yeah, that's a convention around here that we go to sometimes. But um, I can't remember what I was trying to say. I don't know. It's just like comparing Big Hero Six and it How is. to Train Your Dragon is like not fair. It's like comparing Digimon and Pokemon. <laughs> Back to that. I like going back to it because I watched a bunch of videos of like 13 year olds who didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. It's like they didn't even like watch either show. It's like, you did know that Pokemon went nowhere and was on for like a million years and then Digimon just kept building its story and making it better. <laughs> like, How and they're, they're, old is Ash supposed to be? He's 10 and apparently he's only been on his journey yeah, for 6 he's... months. And it's been how many years? Canon. Canon hit 6 months. That He's doesn't been make a, any sense. It's been like over 15 years that that's, that show's been going. And he's supposed to have been a... Is it still Ash? I thought they got new protagonists. Nope. Nope. It's always been Ash the whole time. Oh, wow. They just get a new girl every every season. Huh. I, I quote, The creator of Pokemon said this, The reason they swapped out Misty for May and like any other characters was because young boys sometimes get tired of the same girl. <laughs> I'm not even shitting you. Ooh. He said that, and I was uh... like, "Oh, good." <laughs> so, so like that episode where the writers were struggling so hard to try to get any romance or drama out of Misty leaving was like real. Like they actually were bummed out that the creator was like, "Hey, you know, let's get, let's get a new girl, whatever." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking yeah. Wow, we're not gonna is... we're not gonna swap out the guy. No way. Like, no one gets tired of Ash. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah no one gets young, tired young of a loser. have a lot more stamina when it comes to uh, young boys. Yeah, young, <laughs> boys ne young boys never get tired of Didn't men. did Brock eventually leave, too? They got rid of him because he a was racist. A couple times. His, like, design was racist. It, and they changed him with Tracy, and they what found... With his, with his eyes? His eyes and his, like, skin... Everything about and his him. his ears and his mouth and his nose. No, yeah, fingers, and his head. shoulders, knees, and toes. Yeah. Uh, you know, all those things. Um... Like, they were they were seen as offensive, and they changed him out for Tracy. But then that was seen as more offensive because it was seen as whitewashing. And so yeah, there's no winning. Like they just just brought back Brock back because he was way more popular. Because literally the only people who thought he was racist looking were like adults. Like nobody else gave a shit about what he looked like. I don't yeah. see how he's racist looking. This is the like besides like, squinty the eyes. eyes. So that's why like that. That and me. I don't know if he's other things. I don't remember. Do you ever see Brock's eyes? Yes. It's terrifying. Like, I heard that they're, like, green or something. Nope. Oh. It's actually one of my favorite, uh, single, like, images from a movie. Just, like, like, a, the, my sa like favorite, like, three-second span is just in fucking Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs when his dad looks him in the eyes. Because his eyebrows are way down. Yeah. And he's yeah. just like, he like super like laboriously lifts his eyebrows and it's just like super <laughs> wide eyed and it's just like. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Yeah, Cloudy with the Chance of Meatball is one of those movies that's just like really fun, like just. It's fun to watch. Thank you, like, Neil Patrick Harris. Like, it's not. <laughs> like, that's one of those. Because, like. I, I remember I had an argument with a, with a far more like. Like, a friend of mine who's far more critical of things. Oh, I know who that is. He just got, like... <laughs> he didn't like it because the he said the movie was, uh... Was, like, he didn't like it. It had, like, fake science-y techno-babble. And I was like, 
Doesn't but it, like, everything like, does. Yeah. And like it's a show, like, it's a show for like fucking like five year olds, and it's just to be five colorful. Five year olds don't care. They don't know what anything they're saying are like. If they used real things, it wouldn't change anything. Like it just makes it so they can get the script done faster. Yeah. Like that's a lot of research you have to do for like no effect. Like for just you to like. Like <laughs> that's not a very large part of the audience that's gonna give a shit. That's just one person. Yeah. And they already made money off of the one person, so who cares? Yeah, because yeah. he, he paid for it, he saw it, so whatever. But, like, yeah, it's it's a, it's a fun movie. I, li I like that movie because it's just fun to watch the animation. Like, it's just, it's... I just like animated films more than other films. That's I fair. Why. I mean, like, that's... Wait, does that... I think it's because, that like, it's nuts. easier for me to, like... Okay. It's easier for me to relate to a more childish state or something. Well, yeah, it I don't know. Brings, <laughs> it just brings me back. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. It's yeah, that, That's a fair point. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Simple to understand. The only thing I don't like about animation <laughs> nowadays is that every mo animated movie has to be in 3D. Like, everything has to be CGI. They, they won't do 2D animation anymore. Because of Shrek, actually. <laughs> 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 Fucking uh, Shrek, Ironic that on. the thing we love the most destroyed everything. Well, every every, every animated movie is trying so hard to be sh the next Shrek. I'm not even kidding. To be the next Shrek. <laughs> that... <laughs> That they will not go back, and Frozen didn't help, because, like, since Frozen was 3D, and, oh it, my God. And, it, and it exploded, so now they're never going back to 2D animation, which really sucks, because there's a lot of cool things you can still do with 2D animation that you can't do with 3D, and it's like, you're never going to see that again. I, I'm so sick of all the Frozen products. Yeah, like... Fro yeah, Frozen I hate Frozen pizzas huge. the most. Yeah, yeah. I, I hate because uh, <laughs> they're not because they're, they're not hot already. When I, I bought yogurts. the pizza, yeah. do I, why why am I paying ten dollars for a pizza when I could pay ten dollars to get a pizza delivered to me and that one's fucking hot? Why am I paying for a fucking cold pizza? <laughs> 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 Bullshit is what it is. <laughs> Just like rip off the image and it's like, you know what's bullshit? <laughs> Frozen pizzas. Why aren't they hot already? <laughs> there was something that was highlighted on Facebook that. Oh, oh shit. It, it really kind of ticked me off, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because I like Disney princess movies a lot. Mm -hmm. But it, it was like, everyone knows that Tiana was the first American princess, and it's like. Everyone knows that um, Kuzco no. is the best. Uh, He's Disney the first princess. American princess. No, no. Technically, <laughs> that movie was gonna be a movie called like Song of the Sun, and he was gonna be like I think it was gonna be about like him and he was gonna be female or something. Yeah. And like that'd be a whole Ooh. different world without Emperor's New Groove. Look at us. Everyone who could attack Grog attacked Grog. Grog is fine. Yeah. yeah. See, he's not a Clint. He's a Grog. Technically, the first American princess was. Pocahontas. Yeah. <laughs> we don't like to talk about that movie. Cusco uh, was, just but, kidding, no, was we, we, many it's... years before that. Well, no, Pocahontas um, came out before that. No, I, I mean, like, like his well, the story was definitely <laughs> yeah. before. Well, yeah, like, like timeline-wise, yes. Alright, first things first. Ultra healing on We're the We're opening road. up the Disney vaults. Kuzco's, you have to remember though that Kuzco is a male. What did I do? Yeah, but he. But I'm saying like originally he was going to be a princess. Like that. I'm not saying he, that doesn't change. That doesn't. That does, that's not changing any arguments anyway. or anything. I'm just saying that is a thing that is true. He was. Go what made them change their mind? It was like a last minute decision, and I think it's great because I don't remember what changed their mind because like they were gonna just make another like basically they're gonna fart out another like. Just like every other Disney princess movie, like they, like they all have like their own thing, but like it was, it would have been forgotten. On honestly, it would have been like a lot of like really forgotten like Disney movies, like um, ones I can't even remember off the top of my head right now. But like, uh, but there are a lot that have been forgotten, and it would have ended up like that. I think Atlantis is I actually a Disney Atlantis. one. No, I mean like that, like that's great, but it's not. It didn't make any money. Like it's nobody really saw that movie and that's what would have happened with Song of the Sun 
and they just last minute were like, let's make something different. And it was awesome. Because, <laughs> like, that movie's called Emperor's New Groove, and there's one song in it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like, there's no other songs. And the song is, like, doesn't even include the main character. All he ever says is, boom, baby. <laughs> like, that's it. That's all he says. <laughs> Archer soften him up for... Salamander again, if I can. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Just did. Well, what's that? I think Stitch is my favorite Disney princess. <laughs> because he wants to kill everyone. Yeah. Until, so, like, I don't remember. I never saw that movie, so I don't know what the heck. <laughs> but I always believed that Stitch wanted to kill everyone and then learned that he it's loves a, people. It's it's a great movie. Oh, yeah, no, I, I believe you. I just, ne I just never yeah. got around to seeing it. You should see it. I like the idea of Stitch being a horrible monster, though. Yeah. Well, he is at first. I think he should stay the whole time, though. That'd be great. Yeah. Oh. And <laughs> make it a Godzilla movie. Yeah, dude. <laughs> make a Godzilla movie. Got the gold axe. Oh my god. For my guards. There's this T-shirt that I really want. That's um, it says um, or, or it's got a picture of Stitch where he's reaching out awkwardly and it says hi. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, like, that's like... Another weird... weird see, like, that whole, that whole moment would be, like, ten times more horrifying if it was, like, in an Aliens movie. Like, the alien bursts out of somebody's chest and it's just like, how? <laughs> 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 just like... <laughs> oh, man. That'd be the best. God, that reminds me of Spaceballs. Spa oh, you mean because... Hello, My Baby, Hello, My Honey? Hello, my ragtime gal. And then, like, like the like, like somebody's drinking the soup, and it's got like eggs in it, and it's like alien eggs. And it like was, chest. I thought that was so gross. And it chest bursts out of him, and it's like a puppet, and it starts takes out a top hat and a can, and just dances around like the fucking <laughs> WB frog. Does and, the guy die? Yeah, I think. I don't remember. I just remember being really distracted, like, 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 very, very. Appropriately distracted by the fucking chest burster that just jumped out of a guy and then started doing some ragtime. <laughs> <laughs> They're really gonna go for Raymond? Okay. Yeah, go for Grog. It's been so useful for you so far. Yeah. Well, they Whoa, whoa why is she moving up? I really like she the, wants uh, to be cool like Grog. Uh, she just has to get to the temple entrance. That's the, the yeah. Character. Why are the but there are guys characters... here still. I just wanted to be known. Why are the throwaway characters in this game like stronger than the fucking like main characters? Like Grog and like fucking Darius and ha and, and like and yeah. like Amon are like Konami. The strongest. I just wanted. I am writing you to tell you that you are the biggest asshole I have ever seen in my life. And I would like to get you to Guinness Book of World Records to get that measure. <laughs> <laughs> to get that. Well, technically, you should word it, I have ever dealt with, because you've never actually seen the developers or what. Or whatever. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm being... No, no, we, no we, get, we need to workshop this. We need to workshop this right now. <laughs> we, gotta, we, gotta get, we gotta get this right now. Okay, so, alright, so, uh, alright, alright, so here it is. Here's my plan, here's my plan. Okay, so, so, alright, so we're gonna go out into the woods. We're in the woods, we're in the woods, and we're gonna film an entire movie on a shaky cell phone camera, alright? And it's gonna be called the uh, Outdoorsman. Flawless. 